you do me hearties here we are loud again uh, 11 o'clock on wednesday evening nothing gets past me lovely to be back with you of course so much to talk about and so little time to do it in now we popped up earlier and it was absolutely fantastic so welcome 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 i say i think we're just exactly at 11 o'clock and we had the most amazing stream. But what I had to do, I had to just pop off and uh, speak live to people on uh, on YouTube. You're awfully late, Scotty. What happened? Well, numpty heat. I had to go on YouTube. And I think I saw you over there as well. So, guys, if you ever want to go on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, you'll see the link just below my profile there. Go and subscribe. There's 1,400 videos. TikTok, there's so many videos on here. Oh, hello, mate. Hello, the bus house. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Always the same, isn't it? So there we are. That's it. Seems to be what it's all about. Now, I'm just going to pop this in here. That's fine. And that should take us on. Uh, let us know what's happening there. There we go. Wonderful stuff. And that's we got you on here as well. Yes, lad. So there we are. Did you ever go to the West End Club and Car Stairs? I've never been up the stairs. Uh, have you been to the city of Liverpool? Bus House. Scotty McClue is a massive name in Liverpool. I used to broadcast to Radio City every single night. For two years. I love your badge. I thank you. There's Andrew on being political. We don't know what that means, Andrew. So there we are. Fantastic. Lovely to have everybody with us, guys. Just amazing. Now, I'm just making sure we've got you all here. Do you know Pete Price very, very well? Good mate of mine, yes. Known Pete for 25 years. Radio City, fantastic stuff. Hi, brother. Lovely to have you with us. Great stuff, brother. Good for you. Always good to be with you. And I say dinky-doo. So there we are. There's somebody saying, R.I.P. Bobby Sands. He sadly passed away. Yes, but that is in the past time. There's the wonderful Maria Knight. Dink he do. Yes, and R.I.P. Lord Mountbatten, I say as well. Another fine fellow. Do you know the Muffin Man very, very well? So there we are. Now, Perez, I think you'll find... Perez, guys, is trolling. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, Perez, you can't troll on here, lie. You need to go somewhere else, somewhere more suited to very, very low IQ. Uh, Maria, thank you so much. You're very, very kind. So there we go. Now, Tom, you can't uh, talk like that about people on here. There we go. Excellent stuff. Now... Uh, what have we got? Hello, comrades. I am back. Fantastic. Uh, I'll have to go, Scotty, but uh, I'll make my stay short. Yeah, if you're in a rush, absolutely. You're a short stay man. So that's that. Big, big man. You're on the wrong thing. You're trolling. Wonderful. Off you go. There's a wee block for you. Fantastic. Now, guys, remember if you're a troll, don't waste your time with the usual silly nonsense that you put on other people's lives. This is Scotty McClue. This is very, very big. So there we go. What kind of stuff do you do on here, Sam? We talk. We do chat. Everybody banters back and forwards. And uh, it's uh, TikTok's top talk show. And that's what it's all about. You see what I mean? If uh, anybody trolls, we just toast them. Gone. So that's the end of them, I say. And there we are. Stand a hearing. Now you see, you're saying... No, no, standing in and you're 100% wrong. Nobody ever deserves that. Do you see what I mean? Nobody ever deserves that. So we can either ban you for life or you can clean up your act. All right. Hey, says Anonymous. Hey, how you doing, my guy? Dinky do, Logan. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Guys, can you follow me as soon as you come on, please? We're very short on followers, but very big on viewers. 
huge views, half a million views, and I've only got 11,000 followers. Something very wrong there. So come on, get following as soon as you come on. Anonymous, if you need shush, you go and watch something else. That's right, don't come on here if you're not up to it. Go, 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 Power Rangers. We yeah, are very good. Very grown up. <laughs> In fact, I think we'll maybe ban Anonymous because he's not got it right, has he? Poor thing. Right, end of Anonymous. That's the stuff. Scotty, how are you doing? We're doing very, very well, Alan. Thank you very much. And, of course, you joined us earlier, which was super obvious. I just had to dash off from the live. I didn't want to go, but I had to go on to YouTube because I told them I would be on uh, at uh, 10.30. So there we are. So you'll see we've just done a live pop-up on YouTube. Very, very good, wonderful stuff. Now, who have we got here? Greetings from Scapa Flow in Texas. Brilliant, mate. Love you already. Sam, this is something special, right? This has got serious, serious history. Tremendous. You will love this. Maria Knight, the most generous woman in the world, has sent me 200 TikToks on top of thousands upon thousands upon thousands of TikToks. Absolutely incredible. Guys, get sharing this as soon as you can. Owen, you're, what you're doing with this granddad, Pete, is you're uh, spamming me now. So you need to go, start another account, come on, apologize, and we'll get you moving. Are you Irish, says Ellie? Well, we're all Irish, Ellie, to be quite honest with you. So there we are. What age are you? Nobody knows EasyJets because um, I'm a time traveler. And I wasn't born, I was knitted by my grandmother. We think she dropped a couple of stitches. So that's that. Maria, thank you so much. You're so funny. Jaden, thank you. You're very, very kind. Are you from Scotland? What's the plaque above your head? Oh, there. Oh, that's my old school. Uh, no, mate, just sharing uh, my opinion. No disrespect. But stare, that was really, really disrespectful. If I'd said it the other way about the guy that you're talking about, you'd have been a wee bit upset, wouldn't you? Think about it. If I'd said your words about that guy you mentioned, you would be very upset. Yeah? So that's not an opinion. Louis Mountbatten was the man. It split, it split the Irish movement right down the middle. Louis Mountbatten was the man that could have helped. Yeah? So you need to really grow up, stare, and study it. I am an expert on Ireland, on the Troubles, on all these things. I could tell you the lot. Every blade of grass. There we are. Are you 65? Ooh, I don't think I'm that much, no. Maria, that's so kind. Guys, can you watch what Maria's doing? She's sending me 170 TikToks. She sends thousands. What do you think? Independence is a good thing for Scotland. Yes, of course, Drew. It's an excellent thing for Scotland. We'd save £75 billion immediately. So for goodness sake, let's grow up. See, Scotland's always been independent, except for a 313-year blip. You know? I'm big for the union. No, no, no. The union. There's no case for the union, Sam. No case for it. There never has been. The union was brought in by jiggery pokery. Yes, they bribed the nobles with things like 15 quid, 20 quid. You know what I mean? Scott, are you still on any radio stations? You're finished with radio. Alan Mack, we're never, ever, ever finished with radio. Yeah, never finish with radio. The only challenge that I've got at the moment is that most of the mainstream radio in the United Kingdom is now owned by two companies. Yes, and I've worked for them both. But if you're not um, talking to these two companies, then it's, you know, not really a goer at the moment. But... I, my name is very, very good with these two companies. So who knows what the future brings? Really, says Ellie. Absolutely, Ellie. Watch your YouTube. I want to subscribe. Jaden, it's right in front of your face right now. 
If you look at my profile, can you see my profile? Can you see the YouTube hyperlink just below my bio? Can everybody see that? What will happen in 2024? If I knew that, then we wouldn't have to do the lottery. So there we are. Guys, get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube. Tremendous. So there we go. OMG, what a geezer. Thank you, Josh. You're very funny and warm-hearted. Uh, I, I don't know about funny, but I'm certainly warm-hearted, Ellie. There's no harm in that. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Yeah, uh, I think we don't do EDL, Lewis, so you're, you're gone. Lewis is toast. Say bye to Lewis, everybody. Remember, we don't do any of that. We're very, very inclusive on here. Is this costing Maria Knight TikTok? Yes, Jerry, it's costing our, our fortune. You're already my hero. Could you tell us some stuff about the Troubles? Very fashionable. Sam, I could tell you everything about the Troubles. I could go right back to the Republican Brotherhood. And the founder of Sinn Féin was a massive monarchist. So there you go. Yes, indeed. Uh, Scotland would go bankrupt to become a cold Greece. No, Drew. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Why would Scotland go bankrupt if it was 75 billion better off immediately? Why would it go bankrupt? It's not even get any borrowing. The reason Westminster doesn't want Scotland to go is because it's a cash cow. You've been fed a lot of nonsense. So there we are. Now then, uh, Skin Bob, we're not doing po politics tonight. There's an election tomorrow. Are you from Scotland? I am, Jaden. Absolutely big style. Fair enough, but saying the British Army at the time were good is not right. Well, the British Army have always been good, but they were instructed by the politicians. But the British Army have always been very, very efficient at their job. These guys are sent out to do a job by the politicians, you know? So saying the IRA were good is not right. Do you see what I'm saying? You've got to balance these things upstairs. Remember, you've been fed a lot of stuff, yeah? I actually fact check everything, every last thing, yes? Now, there we go. Uh, Louis Mountbatten was the uncle of Prince Philip. Yes, he was indeed. He was Prince Philip's mother's brother. So there we go. Super guy, actually. Political correctness has ruined talk radio and McClure's career. No numpty heat. No, no, nothing's ruined my career. I can tell you that. So there we are. Now... I've got information on everything. Wow, that's really fascinating. Absolutely. So there we go. Scotty, are you a teacher? You look like an English and an art teacher. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm a black belt in karaoke. So am I, Chris. Well done, my boy. That's what it's all about. If you've just joined us, guys, please start following. Let's get the numbers up. Scroll, scroll, scroll. You can stop here. This is what it's all about. Wonderful. Would the world not be a better place if everyone was the same religion? Well, Skin Bob, everyone actually is the same religion. We all worship a supreme being. Yes? So there's not really a problem. And there would be no racism if people realized we're all the one race. Religion has never, ever, ever caused a problem in the world. What causes a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding. These two people that were argy-barging in uh, Ireland are of the same religion. They're both Christians. Imagine treating a fellow Christian like that. Now, what have we got here? Were the government behind Bloody Sunday? If so, why they weren't heard again? Because Adrian... These are situations that arise, yes? And once you start doing that, you get down to who fired the shots, who started it all. Now, there's been inquiries and there's been apologies, and that's far more than normally happens in a situation like that. 
Yes? So what we need is every single Irish person to embrace their brothers and sisters and stop the nonsense. So there we go. Uh, the tans, the UVF, the attempted school shooting bridge army, not right. Well, of course, it's not right there if you disagree with the politicians at the time. Yes. But then you can say all oh, the, the, the murder of Lord Mountbatten, the murders of all the British soldiers, not right. Of course, it's not right. You're, you're stating the obvious. These are rhetorical things you're saying. Yes? So there we are. It should never have had to come about. Can you tell us about Sir Winston Churchill? Yes, I can. He was born in 1874. He was 50% American. He was 50% British aristocracy, born at Blenheim Palace at Woodstock in Oxfordshire, a house I know very, very well. First visited when I was seven. Um, he was very badly treated at school. He was left alone a lot by his parents. He was very badly beaten at school. He was quite an angry man. He loved war and the army. He was a clever man. He was a wonderful speaker, apart from the fact he did have vocal challenges. Of course, we have funny voice speaking. You know, but he was a wonderful speaker. He was a remarkable politician. He was a warmonger. He was very difficult to work with. He was very unpleasant and nasty to anybody that might be in his road. He ruined a lot of people's careers uh, out of pure selfishness. Um, he uh, was very old-fashioned in his views. He charged with the army at Omdurman. He was a very good soldier, but a lot of senior officers didn't like him, said there were many soldiers they would have before Churchill. So there's all that. He was responsible for a lot of deaths at Gallipoli in 1915. He resigned from the government then, and uh, he also crossed the floor. He was a liberal and then a Tory. Um, he was very good at advising our young queen, uh, what else can I tell you? He was very, very heavily stroked at the end. He bought Chartwell House in the 1920s. Um, what else can I tell you? Anything you like. Scotty, have you seen the movie Snowden? No, I haven't, Chris. There's one I must look at. Good evening from Armagh. Did you watch the snooker final last weekend, Scotty? James, I'm not really a great snooker fan, but I have introduced it on television to the nation. Fantastic. I worship nobody, says Alan Mack. I worship everybody, Alan Mack. I think the whole thing is so wonderful. So I feel very, very sorry for you. There we are. You should worship yourself for starters, and then God will take pity on you. Uh, Dinky, definitely don't, says Captain. Do you not, Captain? Whoa. <laughs> there we are. Which party are you voting for tomorrow? You never, ever, ever ask anybody who they're voting for. Mikel, you're on the wrong stream. You fly high tonight. There you go, la. Bye. Has <laughs> Mikel gone? Poor love. Look who it isn't. Did you know he was run out of Dundee? Yes. Because um, DC Thompson, that ran the press in Dundee, did not like him and refused to print anything about him except when it was required of him during the Second World War. The Thompsons are a lovely, lovely family. I've met them. Thompsons of Dundee, who do the Courier and the Bino and the Evening Telegraph and the Dandy and the Beezer and the Hotspur and the Victor, uh, all these wonderful comics that we all read as wee ones. And uh, Churchill stood in Dundee. He lost his seat. He had to go for an operation to get his appendix removed, an appendectomy. And um, what else did he lose? So he said that he left Dundee without a seat, without a name, and without an appendix. 
<laughs> but I think he was the member for Oldham. Was that after that? Hello from Germany. Yes, guten Tag, Lukas. Nicht Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Ausländer, dich verstehen. Lovely to have you with us, I see. Do you like Harry Potter, of course? How's everyone doing? We're fine, Angie. He was quite an artist. He was actually Captain Obvious. He was a very good artist. Although I think he also did some, uh, you know, sort of copying of other people's stuff. Um, what is the charge? Enjoying a meal, a succulent Chinese meal, absolutely hot, you enjoy that. I love Winston Churchill. Do you know him, Chris? Scotty McClure used to stay in a flat behind where Winston Churchill stayed, but he'd gone by then. He stayed in Hyde Park Gate, and I stayed in Queen's Gate. Hi, I saw you're quite famous on this app. I was wondering if you'd maybe know. No, Snoop, I don't want to ban you, uh, so I'm going to give you a chance to stay. Now, you know that you're a troll. And you do a lot of trolling, and you troll people's lives with the same thing all the time. Now, I'm giving you the option to be bigger than that, to think a bit smarter, to come out of the gutter, and to be part of TikTok's top talk show without being a wee troll. We've had several people have come on as trolls. Once they hear the show, they think, oh, I've just been banned and I want to be part of that. It sounds brilliant. I'd like to offer you that opportunity because I've banned about maybe 50 trolls already tonight. And um, I want the trolls to come and learn Okay, so if you can do better, Snoop, have a thought. If you can't, just remove your account and don't come on, Scotty, again. No problem. Hey, Dominique, how was it like working on the wall, the Berlin Wall? Winston Churchill's a great artist. JP, we don't do any of that stuff. Scotty, what's the most dangerous war? World War I or World War II? Depends which one you were in, Aido. I lost an uncle in World War II. Um, World War I was the most dangerous because Britain hadn't realized that warfare had moved on. And they were still doing cavalry charges when the Germans had brought in the machine gun. Do you see what I mean? You know, I don't know if you've ever seen a movie called War Horse, the most outstanding and moving movie that uh, you could you could you could think of. Peter Mullen is in it. Outstanding actors, many outstanding actors, and it's about a horse in the trenches in World War One. Do you know? Very, very moving. But there's a lovely point when they do a cavalry. Well, I see lovely. It's dreadful, actually. They do a cavalry charge. Full cavalry charge. With these young public school British officers. And they go through a German camp, cutting off people's heads with sabers and ripping up the tents. And at the end of it are the machine guns. And they start to machine gun them. The Germans machine gun them. And the German officer comes out and he says to a British officer on a horse, What? are you doing? Did you think we would be undefended? Who do you think you are? And it's the most poignant line. Who do you think you are? Oh, I think you do FGS. Now then, follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Is your dad playing the pipes today? I'll let you see him. Uh, this guy is my dad playing the pipes. There he is. An amazing man and a great soldier, great paratrooper. Dropped into Nijmegen, Norway. So there we go. Who we got here? Alex, excellent stuff. Uh, now, what have we got here? Hello from London. Hello, London. Hello, the first radio station in London was called 2LO. What about that? The BBC station in London was 2LO. Hello from the Netherlands. Ha! From the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. 
Kamen Tahusa, Wilchian Kupati Heben. I have got my plump in them. How many languages do you speak? Uh, Alan, not too many, but it depends. We can get by. Hi from Poland. Lovely to have you with us from Poland. Dinky do, I say. Every Scotty, first night back on here after social media boycott. So many notifications to open. Marky, fantastic. Don't get boycotted. My mum says, thank you, Scotty. She's gone to bed whilst I'm doing coursework. Train and bus, good luck with that. I'm so glad you told your dear mum. She must be exhausted. Did you go to the Glasgow Necropolis? I know it very well, Angel. Are you talking about the northern necropolis up at the cathedral or are you talking about the southern necropolis the city of the dead over at the gorbals <clears throat> so there you are if you go to um if you go up from the cathedral you'll see past cathedral ministers like dr neville davidson who i remember Yes, buried there. Of course, John Knox has got a monument at the necropolis, although he's buried in Edinburgh. Um, there we are. Ibrahim says, we didn't ask where you should always ask Ibrahim. Never do stuff like that without asking. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Aido. Princess Diana was related to Winston Churchill. Yes, Spencer's, the Spencer Churchill. She was indeed. Thoughts on Sheffield? I adore, adore Sheffield. Oh, I can be there in my mind's eye, the Seven Hills. I love it. I lived there a long time. Now then, how are you doing anyway, Scotty? We're great, Marky. Thank you. Who is God? God is love. There we are. God is Christ's father. My mum says thing. Oh, yes, we've done that. I'm from Scotland. Loves the whiskey, does our Scotty. Aaron, used to. I don't drink at all. Well, not alcohol. Shout out to Fishy George. It's an amazing film. Absolutely. Greetings from Estonia. We love you from Estonia. Are you not too old to be going live on TikTok? Why? What? What's the age for going live? What? What? What's the age? Is it not? Is it not a hundred or something like that? Yes. Are there too many young people on TikTok? Do you think? Yes. Greetings from India. Fantastic. Your clouds. You need to go for trolling. Bye. He's gone. There we are. Lovely. Berlin's a fantastic city. So much history there. Marty, I believe it's beautiful. The Brandenburg Gate. We love it. Now then. Okay, train. We've got that. Thanks. Uh, no, you're too young and immature. Go watch cartoons. Oh, yes. Kathleen's telling. <laughs> very, very good. I am Indian, says Beepox. Beepox, lovely. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Fantastic. We love India. Who else have we got? Why is the Scottish play seen as bad luck, Scotty? I couldn't actually tell you that, Perry. I should have asked, because I used to work in the theatre. I really like your hat, mate. Hope you have a good day. You too. You too, Benefits. Have a lovely day. What have we got? Love from India. I spammed cars. Why not? No, never spam. Greetings from Aland. Thank you very much. There was a man who gave up his seat to a blind man. It wasn't good, though. He was the bus driver, the little theologian. What are you at? So there we are. Now, your contacts look so natural. They are. They're wonderful people. Guys, follow us. Scotty, you're a legend. Do you remember Terry Wogan? Of course I do, Angela. He was my hero, my absolute broadcast hero was Terry Wogan. <laughs> and from Glasgow, I didn't know about the necropolis. That's interesting. Yes, Jamesy boy, and the southern necropolis out uh, along the, what's the main road called? Going along to the Gorbals there. And, uh, oh, come on, McClure. Yes, it's, uh, it's near to Crown Street. And the southern necropolis, I believe, Sir Thomas Lipton of Lipton's the Grocer 
is buried there. His funeral was massive because Tommy Lipton, who became one of the richest men in the world, looked after the Gorbals people. He was from the Gorbals and his shops were brightly lit and they sold ham and butter and cheese and eggs at prices the people could afford. That's the kind of man Tommy Lipton was, friend of the kings. Hello from South Africa. We love having you on Colando. Are you having a bray tonight? Have you thrown something on the bray? I love it when you say dinky do. Thank you, Mr. Lawmans. Guys, can you all follow me? Uh, so there we are. I think your TikTok stream's delayed. I commented five minutes ago. You just replied. Oh, yes. Well, we're so, we've got so many people on. Follow us, guys. Monk, you're going to have to go. Anybody mentioning that just goes. Okay, bye. That's it. Yes, and stop trolling. McClure for POTUS. Chris, the only reason I am not the President of the United States of America is because I'm not an American citizen. That's the first question they asked me. Otherwise, you would have President McClure. How about that? I love Scotty. Who have we got, Alan? How could such a beautiful, kind-hearted woman be related to such a horrible person? What are you talking about, Alan? We haven't got... Tell us more, Alan. We don't know what you're talking about there. There we are. There's somebody telling us the black... Uh, or, or telling us they're back. Sorry, I beg your pardon. I thought I said they were back. You don't have to tell us anything about your race, creed, religion, color, pronouns, uh, who you support. None of that on here because we're all encompassing. We're all inclusive. We're very modern. This is the latest thing. Fantastic. Come and join us and follow us, please, guys. I need followers. I've got half a million viewers. Half a million. And I've only got 11,000 followers. There is something very wrong about that. Very wrong. So please follow as soon as you come on. That should be up. There should be about maybe, I don't know, three or 400,000 followers by now. Everyone on TikTok should be following this live because this is going to go very, very big. It's only a few weeks old, but it'll go very, very big. There we go. Oh, Princess Diana been related to Churchill. Ah, so you're not a fan of Churchill. Right, well, some people aren't, you see. So there we go, because he wasn't everyone's cup of tea. I got invited to a coffee morning the other day. I said, I don't think I'll be there. It's not really my cup of tea. Let's go, Scotty. Absolutely. Churchill was good. What's wrong with him? Says Steer. There you are. Good man, Steer. Churchill was a great friend with uh, De Valera. Yes, your boy. So there we go. Dev. Eamon De Valera. The, 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 the tall fellow with a long shadow. Oh, that's amazing. Now, who have we got here? I can go back to Michael Collins and all these guys. James Connolly can go back to O'Connell of O'Connell Street. What about that? Ah, now you're talking. So there we go. Guys, come on as soon as you possibly can. Alex, we're not into swapping names, my boy. There we go. Dev was a traitor. He ratted out Michael. No, Dev wasn't a traitor. Dev was very, very good. He was around a long, long time. I think I remember De Valera in the 1960s. Would that be right? So, no, no, there was no traitors. Absolutely not, Stair. Very, very good. And, uh, and, and, and he had to take the hit for it all. You know what I mean? What's in your drink last night you didn't tell us? Was it lemon water? No, Simp. I can't tell you. You have to guess. Now, this is just pure water. Patrick says, I'm going to surgery tomorrow. Patrick, we send you strength. We send you all the love and luck in the world. And I hope everything goes well for you and you will recover perfectly. Hello again, Scotty. Uh, so there we go. 
Can we have him a clue as to what was in your drink last night? Um, yes, the first word is alcohol, but I wasn't having any alcohol. Okay. Scotty, do you like Avon? Do you mean Lord Avon? Lord Avon was uh, Churchill's deputy. He was also an outstanding foreign secretary. You're talking about Anthony Eden. Tremendous stuff. Absolutely. Um, ginger. Uh, so there we are. Yes, Glasgow, they talk about ginger for aerated waters. Fantastic. Who's this? Ows. Ows, you sound like a wee troll. I think we'll just dump you. You're too young to be on this. This is a top talk show. So off you pop. There we are. Yep. See if you get more sales for your uh, black pudding or white pudding. Ooh, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Black pudding or white pudding. Was it alcohol-free drink? It was, but the first word of what it was is an alcohol word. Good night, Scotty. Otherwise, I won't wake up for school tomorrow. We don't want that. Night, night. God bless, I say. So there we are. Dinky do. I like your hat and beard. Nice beard. Right. I'm going to push off, guys. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Scotty, good evening. Evan, good evening. We're just dashing. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Stay fabulous. Stay safe. And stay you. It's a great thing to be. No, not alcohol-free sparkling wine. There we are. No, not beer. <laughs> Tremendous. I may be tell you all tomorrow. Right, guys, here we go. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Au revoir, Zane. Au revoir. And a cheerio. See you tomorrow, guys. Take great care of yourself. We'll be popping up 9 o'clock sharp, God willing, weather permitting, for more quality chat. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo. There's a guy going, what a banger. He obviously likes a big sausage. Dinky-doo, guys. ta -ra -la. Take care. And you guys, see ya. ta -ra -la. Woo.